Hello guys, this is Nandi Saman back with another Pokemon Black and White 2 Wi-Fi Battle And as you can see from the team preview, this battle is against Doomsday, he's a really cool guy He uh, also uploads Pokemon content, so I recommend you guys go check out his channel, so it's definitely gonna be in the description So, today I bring you guys a really really good OE battle versus him um, So I'm using a regular Kustav Fortress, a standard Sash Loom um, Choice Packs, Gengar, Red Card, Latias, yes I know, I just wanted to try that thing out um, Bandit Scizor and Scarf Keldeo. He scene looks really threatening from the team preview. I was kind of nervous going on to the battle, but I think if I can play my cards right, that's gonna be fine. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just go straight into the battle. So, my idea of starting this battle was actually to get as much Azers as I could with my Fortress and go from there because he does not have a spinner on his team. So, he decides to lead off with his Metagross, and I see that he's on a Balloon, and I do pack the Earthquake on my Fortress because of this, but it's definitely not gonna work. We do exchange rocks on the first turn, but I know that he, um, yeah, he doesn't have spikes, and I do, so that's good for me. And. Um, goes for the Meteor Mesh, he sees that he does nothing, so he's probably gonna have to switch next turn. As I do believe, I do go for a Rapid Spin as he switches on to the Infernape, that's exactly what happens. And right now, I do switch because onto Keldeo, because I actually did not want to let Fortress die just yet, and I was predicting the Fire-type hit, but he actually goes for the Vacuum Wave, which is interesting to see on Infernape, because they like really carry Mach Punch, but that thing is special, not physical, so... Yeah, that's good. I didn't really want to over predict um, so early on the battle, so I actually just went straight for the Hydro Pump. He goes on to Gyarados, I do miss it, but it doesn't really matter too much because it would probably do nothing. Uh, so, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I do go on to Latias, he goes for the Thunder Wave. I'm glad I did because, yes, I didn't want to Keldy to get paralyzed, but there was no way I would stay in. He goes for the taunts, I was thinking he would attack me, I would probably drag him out onto his Dragonite, so I just went for the Dragon Pulse, if that did happen, but doesn't really happen because he goes for the taunt, and right now he goes for the Scald, I'm not really too sure why he has Scald in uh, Thunder Wave, I think it would be better for him to have Waterfall instead of Scald, because it would definitely do much, but yeah, that's him, not me, so... Dragon Mountain 2 is um, Crobat, he is the curse set with the White Herb Acrobatics. That's looking a bit scary, but um, that doesn't really bother me because I still have my Fortress, this is why I saved it, and I think I can still take at least two Acrobatics as long as it does not get a crit. Goes for the first one, I see that I'm fine, he's not gonna be able to kill me, doesn't get a crit thankfully. I'm gonna get my first layer of spikes, my second layer actually, and because of the cool stop, I'm gonna be able to get all my layers of spikes and stealth rocks, so I'm gonna put lots of pressure on him with that, so he's able to knock me out, and I actually took some time to do a cog right here with my Caldeo, if HPIs would kill Crobat or not, it actually does, and I didn't really want to risk Hydro Pump missing and him knocking me out with the acrobatics, but I do reveal to him that I am choice cards. So he goes on to the Ampharos, I am predicting Volt Swish slash Thunderbolt, so I do go on to Latias, but he does predict that by going for the HP Ice, I'm guessing that it's HP Ice of course, and less the HP Dragon, which doesn't really make two cents, but probably HP Ice, and from the damage I see that he's probably Specs. And he goes on to the Metagross, I do go for the Dragon Pulse, I do break his Balloon. I don't think I have any Ground-type hit on my team left, I only had it on Fortress, but at least if he comes in again, he's gonna take Spikes damage. So he goes for the Stealth Rocks, and I do predict that I'm going straight onto my Balloon, because I didn't want my Sash to be broken right off the bat. So I'm gonna be able to put that thing asleep with the Spore, gonna follow that up with the Swords Dance, as he switches onto his um, Guard Chomp. And I know that I do have my Sash still, and I know that he cannot knock me out with any hit, and I'm definitely predicting the Fire Fang, but as long as he does not burn me, I'm fine, so... Yeah, he goes for the Fire Fang, he doesn't even bring me down to my Sash, that's a life for Fire Fang from a um, Garchomp, I am actually disappointed with Garchomp these days, but he's probably, he probably does, he's not adamant, he probably is, um, wait, he is Jolly, I think, so... Um, in comes the Infernape, uh, I do go for the Mag Punch, but he out prioritizes that with the Vacuum Wave because he obviously is faster, so it's gonna be able to knock out my Breloom, but I do bring in my Keldeo. Um, I know that I can still take a Vacuum Wave, but I actually over predicted right here on him going to um, Gyarados, but that was really a bad play on my part, because first Stealth Rocks and Spikes were up, he's not gonna resist another turn getting in, and then... I Ethan Power Ice would have probably done nothing onto Garchomp anyway, Garchomp not, but <laughs> Gyarados anyways, I'm sorry. 
So that was kind of a bad play on my part, but I do still take another critical hit to Kume Wave, so that's fine. And he brings in the Gyarados, I don't really want um, my uh, my Kali to get paralyzed, so I do go onto my Lariel, but he, I think he predicts that by going for the Skull. Let's get a crit, of course it doesn't <laughs> do anything at all, so... Um, right now I was banging to that I wouldn't get paralyzed, because I'm gonna surprise him with the healing wish, that's at least what I'm thinking. And I don't get paralyzed, which is really thankful, because now I'm going to be able to pass the healing wish out onto my, um, my Caldeo. So I'm going to be able to get at full HP again. So that was a really nice play right there. And I know that I definitely am going to be able to outspeed this um, Ampharos, even if that thing was Scarf, which is probably not, because from the damage I thought that he thing was Specs. So... In comes the Gyarados, this Gyarados is still gonna be a problem, believe me, because now I do switch onto my, um, my Gengar, uh, yeah, I do switch onto my Gengar, I think, yes, I do, and he goes for the Thunder Wave, I'm like, yeah, that's fine, I can at least take one Skull, two Skulls, and go for these packs, Shadow Ball, Stab, that's definitely gonna be able to knock him out from that range. He goes for the first Skull, and unfortunately, I do get paralyzed, but I'm like, yes, I can still take another one, go for the Shadow Ball and still knock you out. So he's gonna go for the Scald and I get paralyzed again. And I'm like, yes, I probably lost because Caldeo cannot knock this thing out and Gengar is gonna die right now, but I think he gets min damage right here. So I do leave the next um, Scald, get off this Shadow Ball. I don't kill him, but that doesn't really matter too much right now. So um, yes, be able to knock me out my Gengar, but I do still have my Scissor left, which is able to knock the thing out with the Pursuit, and Pursuit is technically boosted, so it's banded, that's definitely gonna be able to knock me out, unless I don't get paralyzed like 8 times in a row, <laughs> but I don't, I do get off the Pursuit to knock that thing out, I said it would be a probably, uh, problem if uh, I didn't hit my Shadow Ball, because... Yes, if I did not hit my Shadow Ball, Scissor has Super Power, Bullet Punch, uh, U-Turn and Pursuit, and Pursuit would have probably not knocked him out if he was at that range. That was really important. And right now the only way he's gonna win is that if he wakes up and I miss two Hydro Pumps in a row and gets off his Zen Headbutt, but that does not happen. I do hit the first Hydro Pump and knock out the Fortress, so... Yeah, that is gonna be the battle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a really narrow battle because of those para hacks, you know, so... Yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to Doomsday if you want, if you don't want to subscribe, of course, I'm not you, so... Yeah, if you didn't watch last video, click on your screen, subscribe, all that good stuff, so... Yep, until next time, later.